So while these are cooling, um, well, after they've been cooling for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna flip them out onto the rack and then put them in the refrigerator to chill them so that I can fill them, chill them and then fill them later on. But while I'm doing, while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and make the Marionberry filling for the cake. And uh, yeah, let's. All right, so the first thing I gotta do is make some of the buttercream. We're doing the easy buttercream recipe. And that is, a, you know, on my website, artisancakecompany.com slash recipes. Oh man, I just realized that I'm gonna have to use my other mixer. I'm gonna have to bring out Greeny Boy here. This is my very first um, my, oh, you can see my sticker. This is my very first mixer that I ever got when I first started cake decorating seven years ago. And uh, it's a little bit wobbly. The pin comes out <laughs> quite a bit. But, uh, oh, thank you for the hearts. But she's my baby. So I'm making a half batch of my Easy Buttercream. Um, actually, I'm going to do a full batch and then I'll split it in half. That'll make it easier. Oops, lost my lid. So I need one cup of the pasteurized egg whites. Pasteurized egg whites have been preheated to a safe degree so all of the bacteria is killed. So this is a Swiss meringue type buttercream that you actually don't have to cook. Yes, my book on Amazon is the one that was published in December 2014. Somebody was asking a question. So you, uh, you put the, the whites into the mixer. And then we take one two pound bag of powdered sugar, icing sugar. We've so far put one cup of pasteurized egg whites in here for anybody who has missed that part. Get that mix in. And then I have two pounds of room temperature butter. Um, no, the comments do not pop up when you rewatch the video. I'm going to try and put this mixer off to the side a little bit so that I can talk to you guys and not have too much noise interference. There we go. So as this is mixing, I'm going to start adding butter. So one cup pasteurized egg whites, two pounds powdered sugar, two pounds unsalted butter. No, my egg whites were not room temperature. All the way up on high. If you, if you are in a very hot area, then you can substitute half of the butter for, for high ratio shortening and that'll make it a little bit more stable.
I missed that last question, sorry. You gotta let this whip up for, um, you gotta let this whip up for like 10 minutes so that it, until it turns white, otherwise it'll taste buttery. If it tastes buttery, that just means it doesn't have enough air in it. So you just gotta let it whip, let it whip. Gotta go wash my hands. 10 minutes, not 20. I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of sea salt. This is my precise measuring. Uh, I don't know what you mean about putting the ingredients in the mixer backwards. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. So right now it looks like lumpy yellow curds and that is not finished yet, so you gotta keep going. Uh, we're making buttercream. You don't cream the butter first. Put in the one cup of egg whites, then the, then the sugar, and then the, um, then the butter. If you're talking about the cake container, or if you're talking about the cake recipe, it's, it's the way that I make my recipes. It's called the reverse mixing method. So while this is mixing, I'm gonna prepare my Marion berries. I have a big bowl, and I have one pound of Marion berries. Marion berries are like blackberries, but they're a little bit bigger and sweeter. It's an Oregon thing, but if you don't have Marion berries, you could use blackberries, or you could use other types of berries that you wanted to use, like strawberries. So I've got one pound of those, and they've been defrosted so that they are, so you see how the juice is coming out? And I use frozen berries because they're the sweetest. Take my strainer, put those in there, and I'm just going to kind of push out the extra juice. How this is still lumpy gotta keep letting it go so we want to take out the juice because that'll make our buttercream watery so my buttercream is really cold um, and that's why the buttercream is starting to creep up like this and the way you fix that is you take a little creme brulee torch and you just torch the bottom of the bowl a little bit. It's moving back and forth like this. And that just warms the butter up just a tad. And then it will start going back down. Obviously you don't want to do this too much because then you'll end up with butter soup. <laughs> you see how it's coming down? So to my Marion berries, I'm gonna add something called Bavarian cream filling. And this is a shelf stable uh, filling that's like, basically it's like vanilla pudding, but you don't have to refrigerate it. So I use this a lot for cake decorating. But if you don't have this, you can use vanilla pudding like from the cups, or you could make your own vanilla pudding from the box. <laughs> can I bring you some of the results? It's actually making me really hungry. I gotta go get a bowl. So I'm gonna put my berries into the bowl. That lemon that we used earlier, that for the zest of the lemon cake, I'm gonna squeeze some of that lemon juice into this Marion berry, because berries and lemons go together. You give it a little roll. Uh, I buy my Bavarian cream um, at a restaurant supply store, but um, you might be able to find it on Amazon.
Vanilla pudding is like pastry cream to all of you UK peeps. My phone is high so that you can see the table. My buttercream is still too cold. I think my butter was like not quite defrosted enough. So my buttercream is super cold. Um, my butter was not at room temperature. It was out of the refrigerator and I uh, microwaved it. But you know how microwaving goes. It like is not always super... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Don't knock the, t the knife off the table, somebody says. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of my pudding mix. I'd say equal parts. Yes, they have, Marion Berries do have seeds, and I like seeds, so I don't know. Mix this together. Yum, yum, yum. The sweetness of the pudding mix with the Marion Berries is like so freaking good. A Marion Berry is like a blackberry, except for that it's bigger and fatter and sweeter. Yes, this is definitely like food porn. <laughs> oh, it smells, can you smell it? It smells really, really good. I used about equal parts vanilla pudding and marion berries. All right. Do you see our buttercream? It is white. So that's how we know that it's done. When your buttercream is white, that's when it's done. Oh my gosh, I can talk at a normal volume now. You see how long that took? Okay, I gotta get a bowl. So I'm going to take out half of my buttercream because I'm going to use that for icing the outside of my cake. I'm going to take this half of the buttercream and leave it in the bowl. make sure I have enough, but I don't want to make so much. I would say equal parts filling and buttercream. You can refrigerate the leftovers or you can even freeze it if you're not going to use it for a while. Put this back on here. Yes, I will put this video on YouTube. So it doesn't take very long to incorporate it. But do you see how this is perfectly pink and really delicious looking? It's not broken. The liquids from the berry has combined with the buttercream without it looking that weird beaded, 
It's also this really beautiful pink color. And because it has the buttercream in it, you can, um, you know, use it as a filling in your cake and, uh, you know, the, the butter will harden in it and it won't ooze out from the center and stuff. So let's take a look at our tasting cake, shall we? Because I don't know about you, but I am really hungry after doing all of this. So this is my six inch cake here, my lemon cake that um, was extra batter, fresh out of the oven. I think it tore a little bit. I left it in the pan a little bit too long, so it's stuck. That happens. But I'm just gonna eat this, so it doesn't matter. But do you see this crumb? Can, can you see that? I don't know, it's too bright. See how perf there's no holes? It's just like this beautiful, delicate velvet gorgeousness it's like so soft and so yummy you guys this is the best cake ever it's really really super good so you put some of this on there you see this ah uh, oh mm. oh my god so good it's delicious it's so good, guys. So go make this. Make this delicious cake. Make this delicious filling. It's really good for piping onto cupcakes, too. So, um, you know, I, I, I can't think anymore because I have to go eat this now. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. I will upload this to YouTube later so you can rewatch it. I'll post all the recipes and everything. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Oh. Uh -huh.